I'm Jessica Sowers, owner of Body Bliss Connection. I'm Jamie Marich. I'm a clinical trauma specialist, expressive arts therapist, author, and co-founder of Yoga Unchained. I am also the co-founder of Yoga Unchained. Seated Pike, or Dan Dasana posture. This is a really beautiful posture when practiced, and don't be deceived by how it looks. It can be very challenging. So the legs are lengthened and straightened out in front of us, nice and long. And we find our sit bones connecting to the ground. So for some of us, we have to really engage the core muscles and let the heart lift forward and up a bit. And it might feel in our body as though we're leaning forward just a tiny bit to make that deep connection to our sits bones. We activate through the thighs and press those legs down towards the ground as we flex our toes and pull the toes up towards the ceiling. We pull the belly in and lengthen the spine so the crown of the head reaches forward and up towards the ceiling. We have a gentle tuck of the chin to lengthen through the back of the neck. Fingertips gently reach out to the sides and very gently connect down to the earth. For those that arms can reach, the palms of the hands can settle in and press down gently into the earth as long as the shoulders stay away from the ears. Very strong and active posture. We'll take three breaths here. And to come out of this, let's soften our body. And go ahead and turn when you're ready. Ooh, ah. So Jamie, how does Dandasana pose feel in your body? Always grounding. Today, I really felt the dynamic nature of that. I'm glad that you made that comment that it looks like, oh, I'm just sitting with my feet out in front of me. If you're really <laughs> fine tuning the detail points, it, you're feeling of an, an activeness, a stretch through that. Mm -hmm. And whew, like I feel my breath is flowing. Yeah. Better. So uh, what's your typical experience with that? I enjoy uh, Dan Dawson, a posture. It's, it's challenging. It's very challenging. I know that it takes a lot of core strength to hold the body upright and flatten that back out as much as we can. And not only that, it takes some awareness and focus to keep the toes facing up towards the sky and not allowing them to rotate outward. So that leg activity really, really is challenging there. So I enjoy Dan Dasana for that. Um, I also feel very grounded and connected because of, you've got so much surface of your body actually connecting to the earth. Right. Yeah. And that's one of the clinical usefulness points that many of us have found with Dan Dasana, our staff pose, it's sometimes called seated pike, we tend to call it, mm -hmm. is that it does have that grounding uh, quality. So let's talk about modifications uh, and, and things to be aware of based on challenges we've seen people have. I was interested to note as you led me through it, if your hands can touch the ground mm -hmm. to do flat palms. A modification I like if they can't quite get that flatness is to pads of your fingers mm -hmm. down to the side. Any other hand modifications you can think yeah, of? They can rest on the on their thighs if that feels better. You just want to be mindful that the, that the shoulders don't creep up by the ears. Sure. Where the hands can just rest alongside the body and wherever they go, they go. Sure. Mm -hmm. Another modification is of course to use the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, because you wouldn't really get a good visual of this on the video, Jessica is going to do an adjustment where she's essentially going to become the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, now typically in the type of yoga we teach, the more trauma sensitive, trauma responsive, we steer away from adjustments. Mm -hmm. uh, but just from, for a pure practicality standpoint, mm -hmm. Jess is going to adjust me here, yeah. uh, essentially being the wall. So you can have someone sit their back and their bottom flat against the wall. She would scoot everything back as close to the wall as she possibly could and lengthen the spine. One thing to keep in mind for some individuals is the flexibility within the legs can be deeply challenged there. So if they need to bend the knees, they can bend the knees to allow for this nice flat back to occur. So. Mm. What we can also do to simulate the wall is I'm going to stand against Jamie with my side leg towards her and I'll step my foot up to the base of her tailbone and that's where she would touch the wall at on the base. And then I stand up nice and tall and I'll ask her to bring the back of her head against my hip 
and she's going to stay nice and tall. I'm going to straighten her back out with my leg to make her sit nice and level. How does that feel, Jamie? Very nice. Yeah. So I don't know if you could notice, but she her back moved to probably almost an inch or so to come into a nice straight position. And from here, Jamie, I'll ask you to engage your core muscles. Yeah, feel that difference? Oh, yeah. And you're going to stay right there while I'll, I peel away. Mm, even more dynamic. Yes. Feel like an L. Yes. And now you can soften ah, and, and come glad, back into that. And I'm glad you mentioned that detail about bending the knees. A question I get a lot of clients and students ask too is how important is it that the legs stay flush straight together? Well, it's going to be different for each body type. Again, mm -hmm. you know, every body is different. So you want to work towards getting those legs as close together as possible, but that comes over time and not every body type can have the ankles, the knees and, and the thighs together. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. You want to start with finding that zone where you are as close together as possible while still finding and retaining some comfort. Mm -hmm. So having the legs open to where they're about hip width, or if you need to go a little wider than that, that's okay as well. So finding that comfort, comfort zone to begin with and then as your practice progresses you'll start to challenge your body a little bit by bringing them in but be aware that every body is different and some people can squeeze everything together and other people cannot and that's perfectly good because they'll still get the benefits out of this posture regardless of the positioning of the legs very good mm -hmm. so thank you for joining us for seated pike thank you <laughs>